I did, Karen. That's right. And you know, police telling us this afternoon that the shooter is in custody, although charges against him are still pending. They also said that this was an unlicensed party that was taking place at a building that is registered as an art gallery. Surveillance video shows the moment right around 1 a.m. when gunfire erupts inside a North Lawndale Halloween party. Partygoers are seen running away, crossing the still busy street at 13th and Pulaski. By the time all was said and done, 15 people were shot, two of them critically. We was in here having a fun, good time, and it was arguing. A party had to get let out. And so all you hear was gunshots, everybody ducking on the floor, women screaming. Hosted by three local social media comedians, the party was, according to some of those there, wrapping up. Fellow comedian Taiwan Tunstall says people were being checked for guns at the door. Today, he spoke out against those who would shoot into a crowd of people. Stupid people with guns kill people. Because I'm an ex gangbanger but I put the guns down because I value my life, you know? People should value life out here. If we trying to stand up and be good for the community, you know, and try to make people laugh, because laughter brings joy. Speaking at the press conference this afternoon, Chicago police said the shooter was quickly identified and placed into custody. His weapon, they say, was recovered. Victims and witnesses did relate that the suspect was ejected from the party and he came back a few minutes later with a gun and began to shoot. Also present this afternoon was 24th Ward Alderman Monique Scott. I don't know whether to scream or to cry. We shouldn't be out here on a Sunday because 15 victims lay in the hospital because they were shot, because someone couldn't get back into a party. Resident Will Ricks witnessed the aftermath, including seeing the gunman running away from the scene, only to later find out one of his friends was among the injured. He's doing all right right now. He just got shot in the leg. I'm waiting to pick him up from the hospital. And police telling us this afternoon that on Tuesday they will be bringing a victim assistance center into the community next door to where the shooting happened. The address for that will be 1241 North Pulaski from noon to 7 p.m. again on Tuesday. And this will be not just for victims of the shooting, but also for anyone in the community who has been a victim of gun violence and who feels that they may be able to use some of those resources being offered. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.